the equation we're going to use is so that equals the mass of solute over the mass of solution times 100%. So for these ones, I kind of take this, because this is just one variable, but it looks like a bunch of stuff. What I do is just take this and make it like an x or something, OK? So it'll be easier on that. So let's just make this equal to x. So we can kind of cross this part out, OK? So we're looking for x. OK, so the mass of solute well, that's what we're looking for. Um, percent weight, weight. Well, we don't really have to do that X thing on this one. Equals 0 0.900%. Okay. And the mass of solution we know too. That's 2.50 times 10 squared grams. Okay? So remember, both this has to be in grams, and this has to be in grams. Okay? So, we're looking for this one here. So we've got to get rid of all of this other stuff on this side of the equation. Or we could just plug in numbers and then move it around if we want to do that way. It's the same thing. Okay? But let's just do it this way where we take everything and remove it from the one side of the equation. So. Equals that. So, this is multiplied by 100. So let's divide both sides by 100%. Okay? So, we take this. So we can take this, okay? So that's what that actually looks like. So let's divide both sides by 100% and get that out of there. Cancel there. Okay. So now we have this equation. Mass of solute over mass of solution equals x times 100 percent, or divided by 100 percent. But we want to get this mass of solution out of there, so we'll multiply it by that. So we've got this equation now, which gives us what we're looking for. So the new equation is the mass of the solute, which is what we're looking for, equals the mass of the solution times x divided by 100%. Okay. So the mass of the solution, 2.50. times 10 squared gram multiplied by 0.900% divided by 100%. Like that. Percent, remember, is just a unit. So we can cancel that out. Okay? So percent over percent cancels out. So that just gives us, leaves us with grains. So all we got to do here is just multiply these numbers together. 2.5 squared times 0.9 divided by 100. And I got 2.25 grams of solid. 